Hello everyone, welcome to another TechIt tutorial, and today we are looking at scrap engines. Now these two over here are sort of my earlier designs that I was working with. Uh, they're a bit big, but they kind of are very useful for showing off exactly what these engines do. So, uh, we'll have a look over that one later. Okay, so this one is uh, using a block breaker in a cobblestone generator, which is sending the cobblestone into a recycler which will occasionally produce a bit of scrap in this socket here. That scrap is then pulled out by this transposer and put into this generator, which then feeds power into the MFE, which in turn feeds it into the low voltage transformer and if you have powers the recycler. But the amount of power that a single piece of scrap gives is I think it's like 30 times the amount you need to actually, uh, like, it's 1 30th is, uh, one is one recycling of the power that a piece of scrap gives in a generator. I'm not doing a very good job of explaining this, am I? Sorry. Um, a single piece of scrap burning in a generator gives you about enough power to recycle 30 more things. It really doesn't use that much power. So, if you do something like over here, this is why I have the scaffolding. And you have a ton of block breakers feeding into a ton of recyclers, feeding into a ton of generators, which all in all is not that very expensive a thing. You can create a lot of power. As you can see, we have an MFSU over there. Now, of course, you need a pulsing signal. So we've got a hookup to our global, uh, our global timer over there, which is pulsing the block breakers and the transposers. But uh, while I was actually setting up for this, I did managed to come up with a much smaller design. Ow, my legs. Because uh, this is 6 by 7 by one and the design I have over here is only 3 by 6 by one So, this is doing the exact same thing as over there, but it's doing it in a much smaller space. You've got one piece of red alloy wire per segment that's triggering both the transposer and the block breaker, and you've got one piece of pneumatic wire instead of the four per chunk over there. And this also has the advantage that it's never going to get backed up. Uh, unless by some miracle the recycler continues to make scrap endlessly, in which case uh, the generator will get full up, but nonetheless. Because the block breaker being directly above the recycler does not have any kind of delay while it's running, so no matter what your timer is, it's only ever going to fill up to 64. And of course you can overclock these, but they'll take more power. But uh, Over here, I've just used the exact same system as over there, more or less. Uh, just one connection in for the timer, and one connection out for the MFE. Uh, of course, this is uh, not producing too much power, but this is cheap and you can just stack it as long as you like, more or less, and you'll get more power out of that. Because the main source of power in this is just that, having more than one generator running at once. A single generator is enough to power more or less the entire system, but if you have more than one, then you get surplus power, and that's why all of these uh, different pieces are delineated, like uh, using the covers down here, so that you, so each recycler is only feeding into one generator. That means that you can get the absolute most power from the scrap at any given point as you like. And now, as the sun sets once again, unfortunately we're in a mushroom bounce, that's not a problem. Let's just take a quick look at these because I set these running. These are all the machines necessary as part of our diamond factory at Carpenter Station. And let's see, this is 100% heat, full RPM, full PSI, full PSI. So this, this is now providing the energy necessary to constantly be making diamonds. And it's not even, well, it's, it's not charged fully, but it's not really draining either. Of course, again, it's a lot more stable if you have a lot more of them. The, if you do put too much strain on the power, bearing in mind I'm pulling it through this uh, transformer here, uh, you can cause the engine to die, because it doesn't have the power to run the recyclers. But uh, generally speaking, that's still a fairly reliable system. So, let us hop over here, where I have prepared our usual chests, and we shall get to building this. This one's a little trickier to make than that design would have been, but uh, I think the, the, the payout for it is, is good enough. So, what we need 
first is to put together the fueling section. I'm gonna need this screwdriver. Because the first thing we need to do is plonk down a transposer. Maybe if I can just get onto the right block. There. Yep, and that's gone right. And now we need to have our block breaker above it. There. So that's pulling things from here down, where they can be picked up into the recycler and then pulled out of after processing with the transposer. And the transposer needs its pneumatic tube feed into the generator. There. And you don't really need this if you're just building the one, but I advise you to make more than one. Uh, but it's just a cover on the side to keep this pneumatic tube from, from connecting the ones uh, to the side. And now we can more or less, I believe, put together these two, which is the normal generator. And that goes just there, where it connects to the pneumatic tube. And the recycler, which is the big part of this, because it's where the scrap comes from, underneath the block breaker. And uh, now we can handle power. So that is some glass fiber cable. Or you, you can use almost any cable you like, but bear in mind this system uses low low voltage power, which is why we have this transformer. You can use a bat box or an MFSU uh, voltage allowing, but uh, an MFE is something I recommend because the bat box has become pretty quickly full. But your transformer goes there at the bottom, and your MFE or whatever goes there. And we just hook these two up. Doop, 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 doop. And we also need to get power from our generator, like that, and to our recycler, like that. So now we've got low voltage power going into the recycler, so the recycler doesn't explode. Apparently I mildly miscounted the number of glass fiber cables I need. No, not a problem. So let's see, we've covered fueling, we've covered power generation, we've covered storage and power and powering, uh, actuation and ignition we'll cover in a moment, but we, for that we're going to need the cobblestone generator. Some of these materials are still left over from when I was going to make that one, but oh well. Okay, so now then we have the actual cobblestone part of things. And, oh, actually we are going to have to do actuation because this design yeah, this design over here you can see is very much above the cobblestone generator but this design is more or less built into it so a lot of pieces are responsible for keeping the actual uh, cobblestone generator uh, from breaking and stuff so we need to put our red alloy wire on the side here and that means that we've got a block here a block here a block here but it means the lava isn't going to go everywhere and for actuation, you can use a timer or a sequencer. Time will probably be the wiser option, but I'm just going to have a receiver hooked up to our global timer. Okay, and there it is, furiously trying to do stuff. Pity that. Uh, and I put these back in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. There they are. The lights are purely decorational, but it's fun. It's nice, I think. So, water in first. And the lava, it can't flow onto the red alloy wire, unlike with redstone. But if we put that there. There we go. And one major advantage here is we can reach into our recycler from in here rather safely, minus this slight drowning problem. But uh, you can see that it's not actually uh, doing anything at the moment, and that's because this system cannot start dry. It needs to have some degree of power in it. So. Something really cheap, we're just going to use a scaffold for this. You and that's because you can, you can burn scaffolds inside of generators. I'm not quite sure why they thought of that, but here we go. And now we have some power. And that power is going to be inside of our recycler, and it's going to be making scrap. So, eventually we should see this generator light up. In the meanwhile, we can see that the recycler is working away. You. And assuming I don't drown, <laughs> uh, that's the basic 
that's the basic thing. You can they're, they're, it's a fairly versatile design. All you need is an, an in, all, all you basically need is the generator recycler portion and then the uh, actual cobblestone generator. But uh, this is the smallest that I could figure out how to make it. And uh, how are we doing over here? No, oh, we haven't been. So, the the slight problem is uh, the recycler ran. To, well, when you're at least when you're using a uh, cobblestone, the recycler outputs a piece of scrap, roughly one in ten, but. Uh, it's random, so you don't actually get 100% on that. But uh, generally speaking, a piece of scabble is enough to coax something out. So, are we going to see it? Hmm? Yeah, the recycler has stopped as well. Because it's out of power. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, you can see that the, you can see that these two, these ones, are all working. So that's somewhat of a moot point. But uh, yeah, this one start, this one I started up with, with a piece of scaffold, and actually we have a very piece of scaffold around here, don't we? So let's cheat a little bit and stick some more scaffold in, uh, because the MF the MFE isn't going to output anything until it actually has at least 128 EU, which uh, it doesn't at the moment, so... Right, and let's pull those out, and there's a piece of scrap. So, there we go, it's burning, and we should be on the climb. Yep, quite noticeably. So yeah, sometimes it takes, sometimes it's a bit, it's a bit fidgety in starting up, but fairly reliable thing. Uh, especially if you have a lot of things that are going on as usual, but if you like, if you put the, a big pull on this, like if you're um, trying to pa uh, trying to charge quantum armor, you're probably going to have a few issues, depending on the scale of this. It's fully expandable, so you can make it have as much power as you like, which is pretty good, I say. And it's just generator, recycler, main bulk of it, done. So, I hope you've enjoyed this... Uh, building at night installment of Tove Take It Tutorial, and I shall catch you next time.